Greetings. I am Dr. Terry Orzi. I am the Director of Education and Assistant Professor at the Boonshaw School of Medicine, Pharmacology and Toxicology Department. Dr. Sabir Hussain has asked me to take a video and condense it down so he can share it with you today. If you want to see the full video, please go to YouTube. Dr. Hussain can give you the link and check it out. But for right now, we're gonna skip a few of the items and go straight to the aerial view of our beautiful campus. So that structure there is the uh, double helix. Okay, now I'm gonna take you over here to our folder so that I can introduce you to the team, give you a briefing on the timeline, tracks and concentrations. So let's get started. So this is Dr. Jeffrey Travers and he is our chair and he's a professor, dermatologist, MD, PhD. This is me, Dr. Terry Orzi, and this is Miss Catherine Winslow. This is Corinne, she's our program coordinator, and this is Barbara, she is our admin specialist. If you apply to our program, you're likely gonna speak to one of us. Just give you a brief history of our um, program here. 2001, we started the MS research track. In 2009, we started a non-thesis track. Our space was limited, so this was our best option. 2012, we created the CBRN certificate program. And in 2014, we rebranded the non-thesis track to be a leader admin track. We really wanted to pull in some courses from business leader and administration. In 2015, we created the MDMS Clinical Investigation Track. 2018, we created a one-year online track. In 2019, we redid our MDMS track. And in 2020, we created the Clinical Trials Coordination Concentration. We are currently working on a one-semester certificate clinical trials coordination, as well as a healthcare and homeland security concentration. We have four tracks. We have a research track, five semesters, leader admin track, four semesters, leader admin track, two semesters, and a leader admin track online. We have two concentrations, the clinical investigation concentration for medical students and the clinical trials coordination. Now the difference between a concentration and a track is the concentration will show up on your transcripts, the tracks will not. So we have several electives that you can take in addition to the required core classes. And if you take those electives, some of them will give you certificates. For example, we have department certificates. You see three here. We have the graduate certificates. Those are the CBRN certificate. And as I mentioned, we're starting a clinical trials certificate. And then the Six Sigma Green Belt and Black Belt certificates. So that's really a brief introduction to our program. Again, you can find more about us online and I'm going to show you where you can go to get that information right now. This is the Boonshoff School of Medicine webpage. 
I'm going to go to departments, scroll down to the academic departments, pharmacology and toxicology, and there's our page. Now, if you go over here to program information, educational programs, you can find out everything you need to know about the program, the department, the tracks, the concentrations, how to apply, what are required. For example, you see here, TOEFL score of 213, 79 IBT, and then on band six for the IELTS, a GPA 3.0. Additional information can be found here, which includes other things that you need to apply, like transcripts, letters of recommendation, personal statement, and where you apply. So you can just click here and apply. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see what the application process looks like and what you need to do. So it's really very simple. I just want to briefly come over here to faculty and staff and scroll down there. You see the chair, you see some of our other faculty. Take time to look, but right now we're going to focus on Dr. Hussein. This is Dr. Hussein's web page, and you can see how many current students he has, his research focus, which includes, as you can see, quite a bit of nanomaterials. He also does molecular signaling. We're going to go back to his publications, and I just want you to see how you can apply to spend time with him at, as a master, doctoral student, postdoc, uh, research associate, etc. So let's look at his Google Scholar page. He has over 250 publications. The list keeps going. Check that out. Isn't that amazing? I remember when Dr. Hussein got promoted to full professor, people said, after looking at his CV and qualifications, they should have a statue in, in the university square dedicated to him. That's how well-respected he is in the university, as well as at the base. Which is why I'm going to now turn this over to him so he can talk to you more about his research, um, and basically anything, anything you might want to know, he can do that for you, answer some questions, etc.